Sorry. There you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that's a good one, huh? That's a good one, yes. Really good. <laughs> now he's coming up right. That first hit, boy, he wasn't he wasn't liking that hook in his mouth. <laughs> no. We ended up arriving at the bait spot about 45 minutes after sunrise. What I'm tying on here is a blacked out sabiki rig. And if you see, it comes pre-baited. Check out these hooks and the bait that's on there. Look at that. Really nice hooks. Perfect for pinfish. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Pinfish, pigfish, small grunts. There's only four on here, which is better when you're fishing for something like that as well. They don't get as tangled up. <clears throat> Like with sardines and stuff, fine with more of them. I actually like a few less hooks when you're doing pin fish. The bait seemed to be coming in the boat pretty good and we wanted plenty of them when we were heading offshore because we wanted to make sure we didn't run out of bait if the grouper and snapper wouldn't hit the jigs or something else. After catching several dozen bait, we packed up and headed offshore. As we were getting set up at the very first spot, we noticed some clouds moving in and some water spouts dropping down. We knew we were in for an interesting day. We had some weather that was supposed to be coming the next day and it looks like it showed up a little early. Mm, that's the right one. Oh Woo! my gosh, that's a red snapper. Did you see that hit? Nice, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Today we're out of the plantation on Crystal River. About, uh, let's see here, about 58 feet of water. We're trying to get some red snapper. So it looks like that's what we have. It's a good one. Louisa was just throwing a grunt in the cooler. Wondering where the red snapper were. And here they are. Woo! Golly, it's a good one. Good size fish. That's what we're looking for right there. Beauty. Man, I was stoked to see a red snapper come in the boat that quick. All right. Check that out. It's a good sized fish right there. Get my hand in there. And these guys only have to be 16 inches long. Hook fell right out. And this guy's well over that. One of the best tasting fish out here. Beautiful fish. Got that on 40 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader. So we're out here using 40 pound leader today. I'm gonna get us a angle full of these right here. Yeah, you got a big one. You gonna get, get, get to the bottom. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's a nice one for sure. Got another fish on. It's like a good one too. Yeah. It took me under the rocks, but uh, I gave him a little bit of slack and he came out. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully it's a big red snapper. Oh yeah, yeah. good one. All right, Jimmy. Woo! Nice. Check it out. Great way to start red snapper season. God, it feels like a monster. Woo! Got a few obstacles today. Can't always fish in sunny weather. Good thing it's not windy. There's not very many waves, but we have an 80% chance of rain that we're fighting through today. And because of that, this is why we have these giants. Oh, and that's a big gag. We can keep him too. <laughs> Look at here, son, we'll take that. Gag grouper are in season, and they are, uh, they have to be 24 inches to keep. It used to be 22. They changed it here in the Gulf recently to 24. And there he is. What a fish. Man, that was exciting to pull a big gag off the bottom. Then I hooked into another gag, but it wasn't quite as big as the last one. Oh, yeah. The yeah. mm, way I'm catching them is uh, Louise and I are just flatlining a little chunk of thread fin back in our chum line, and they're hitting it right off the, right off the bottom almost. And this is another gag. That could explain why it was near the bottom. But uh, what we had is we had a 
a bunch of dolphins just come through here, to, uh, not the mahi kind, the actual porpoise, and they ran off our school of red snapper. The bottom machine was lit up, they just ran them off. It was a little gag, I can tell you right now, he ain't gonna make it. It's a little bit too small. There's not a lot we can do about the conditions today. I mean, it's flat, so that's nice, but this rain, I mean, no matter which way we look, we're seeing clouds. So I think we're gonna be dodging storms most of the day. And I just got this live bait to the bottom. He's already getting nervous. There he goes. Okay. That's yeah. probably a grouper. Now with this on a pinfish that we sabikied up earlier. No, it's a red. It's a little red. Now these guys have to be 20 inches, and I don't think he's gonna make it. I'll show you how red their mouth is inside. Check that out. Real pretty, huh? Probably about 18 inches or so. Not quite there yet. All right. Then we started pulling some smaller grouper in the boat. Fish on. There you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that's a good one, huh? That's a good one, yes. Billy Kurt. <laughs> now he's coming up right. That first hit, boy, he wasn't he wasn't liking that hook in his mouth. <laughs> no. Oh, that I've looks like a good out. gag. No, it's a red grouper. It's red. Yeah, oh, no. another red grouper. Plenty of those guys around here. <laughs> nice, check it it's out. Fat. <laughs> here we go. Got him. Sometimes it's hard to tell the size of them on the red grouper too, because the red grouper is so much stronger. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one though. This is a keeper red grouper. It's pretty nice getting back-to-back -back red grouper with one of them being a keeper. Yeah. After that, Louisa got another red grouper. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Bet it's another one of those reds. Oh, hopefully it's a red snapper. Yeah, it's pulling like a red, a red grouper. grouper, I think. I'll take a red grouper too. Yeah, it's a red grouper. Dang, there's a lot of them there. Yeah. There are a lot of them down there. Hey, close. I mean, I'll measure him. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Could be close. Beautiful fish. We've been catching a lot of them today. We were hooking up the small red grouper as fast as we could get our lines in the water. All right, we're going to go ahead and release this grouper right here. Two more inches, and he would have been a keeper. Mm. Woo, it looks like Jimmy got a fish. Mine's probably not a whole lot bigger than yours. Probably about the same size. <laughs> it's another red grouper. They're all over the place down there. It's a good thing to be seeing more of these guys. We lost a lot of our red grouper about seven years ago to the red tide. And uh, we're bouncing back good. A lot of them. And then we hooked, you guessed it, another red grouper. Woo! What do you think this one is, Jimmy? Not red, a red grouper. grouper. I think it's a red grouper. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it red is. grouper. Yeah, this one. Pretty little guy. Super bright red. Definitely not a keeper. Red grouper. <laughs> Another yeah. one. Yeah. He's a tough one. Yeah. Nice yeah. double. Might be twins. Two Probably. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. Got him. Good job. Hey, it feels like a grouper though. Down there, I mean I got almost to the bottom with this bait. Before it hit. Yeah, it's a grouper, it's a red. You don't wanna, there he goes. Wow. Splasher, he ain't gonna make it. Looks like this one has been caught a couple times. Let me show you guys something. He has a hook hole here, and I saw another one up here. He has a hook hole right there. This fish has been caught once, twice, and then the third time by me in the bottom of the lip. <laughs> He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. He better watch out once he's 20 inches. 
in the pollen. That's what I like, constant action. Spot him fishing for you. Gag? Nope, red. Red. A little red. I lost count how many of these guys I caught already. First drop at this next spot. Oh, maybe it is big. Oh, I just got eaten by a juice fish. Oh, man. Oh, man, he got it. Doggone. He got eaten halfway up. Come on, let him out, let him out. I got the juice fish. Doggone, son. Burning my thumb trying to slow him down. Damn, he's gonna give it a Gosh. Ooh, actually turned his head. Got my fish back is what I did. He let it go unbelievably. Woo! How did that feel to be in the belly of a Jew fish? He's barely even scraped up. Look at that, just a little scrape on his back. Holy cow. That fish just came close to death. Crazy. In and out of the mouth of a Jew fish and I landed him. Little baby guy. All right, safe travels back down. Look right there. Look under the water, guys. You see that? What is that? Is that a king or is that a cuda? You see him, Mikey? It's like a cuda. Came right up to the boat and checked this know. out. Yeah, it's right there. Got about a seven foot cootie trying to eat it. A big barracuda ended up showing up right beside the boat, so I hooked him. Oh, he got it. He got it. Good job. Ooh, nice. Get him. He ate it as soon as it hit the water. Oh, look, that's a, there's another one with him. Woo! Wow. Golly, I can't believe he didn't cut me off. I don't know how good you guys seen that, but I flipped that bait right in front of that thing and he ate it up. I can't believe that he hasn't cut me off yet. Look at the size of that monster. Holy cow. I must have hooked him absolutely perfect. Look at that thing. Oh, there he goes. There he oh. went. I knew it wasn't going to last long. Not huge, but it's a grouper, I think. Yeah, it's a red grouper. Fatty. I don't know if he has the length. He's got a gut on him, though. Pretty fish, but it's not big enough. After a bunch of little red grouper, I ended up getting a huge hit. That's a big one. That's a real big one. That's a big one. Gosh, I got him on the right rod. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Oh my gosh, this is the fish of the day. Whoa! Get up here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He found the rock. He's got to get off of it. But it ended up taking me into the rocks. He's on it. Then all of a sudden, he came out of the rocks. This is a massive gag. This is an absolute beast. Oh, I see him. Wow. Woo. My gosh. Holy cow. That's a big one. That's what I came for right there. Holy smokes. Look at that. Man, I'm glad to have that high seas leader on. Woo! He was under a rock and back out. That 80 pound high seas fluorocarbon held up. And that's a beast of a gag grouper right there. Man, oh man. Wow. What a stud. <laughs> what an awesome way to end our trip out of the plantation on Crystal River with a big gag grouper. Thank <laughs> you.